Alright guys, so it's time to get these wheels ready to be sold. Um, it is Monday when you guys are watching this video. But uh, these things have been on sale for you guys for about a day now. And these are the stock 16 inch wheels from the Sport Track. If you remember, if you go back and watch pra practically every product of the Sport episode from 1 to 25, these wheels have been on the truck. Um, these are the front tires, the Dexterra DHT2s. These are, let's see if we can find the numbers, 235, 70, 16s. Um, all the way around, I believe. They are, there are also some general tire grabbers um, that are both proud. Um, if you guys want to crack at this, let me know because I'll be putting these. These will be available on Facebook as well. Um, but I'm going to be using some microfiber cloth, two buckets. Uh, I'm taking a method I watched from Chris Fix. He's a pretty awesome mechanic style YouTuber. All he does is explore my fix stuff. Uh, it's kind of the whole name of his game. Uh, I also have a bottle of Brain X that I'll be using on the windshield of the Sport Track that's laying down on the floor next to my hook drink. So, without further ado, let's get started with cleaning the wheels up. Alright, so I've got all the materials I need set up. So, I've got the Armor All Wash and Wax Soap I'm going to be using. I've got two buckets one is going to be a rinse bucket and one's going to be a soap bucket. Um, it's pretty cool to balance the fun. Um, depending on the tread depth on the Dex Tarot, it will depend on whether I go with a $150 base price or a $200 base price so for the full set. We saw on the hubcaps, lug nuts, everything. So, just waiting on this bucket to get a little bit full. And then um, I'll catch up to you guys in a minute. Because this is a little stupid weird hose head thing like, twisted to keep it running. So, I'll get that done. I'll get one of the wheels rolled out, like the top one, like the Dextero wheel out, and we'll get it started. Alright, so we got our two buckets set up. We got one for rinsing the rack off and one for soaking it up. We've got the first of the four wheels. I'm basically going to do the inside and the outside of the wheel to make this thing look factory fresh and uh, try to get as much value as I can out of this thing. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my phone somewhere and I'm going to quickly time lapse each wheel individually. to only do one video one wheel under time lapse because that is going to take a lot of elbow grease to clean up because it is stained in bright dust on the back side of the wheel just to give you guys kind of an idea on what happened to my rinse bucket after just doing a little bit of the back wheel which you can still see here is pretty dirty and gross yeah it's already gone black so I don't know for sure if I'm gonna be able to clean up all the wheels the same way and get them all nice but it's gonna try it's gonna do my best um, so I'm going to probably finish this up, get some uh, more little clips here out throughout when I'm doing stuff, and uh, when I'm doing my windshield later with the rain -X. but until then, I'll catch up with you guys here in a minute. Alright, so the wheels are finally done. I know I look like a mess, but I'm covered in water, brake dust, and sweat. So um, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting the pictures taken for the ad on Facebook and or eBay. I don't know which one's where it's going to go just yet. I'll be talking to my parents about that later. Um, but uh, again, just reminding you guys, if you guys are interested in the 16s, make sure to uh, let me know in the comments and I'll send you guys a link either in the description or if you comment saying you're interested, I'll give you a link in the comments um, up until they're sold. And then I'll put either an edit in the description or an edit in the uh, comments saying, hey, these have been sold. So, um, well, I guess I'm about to get some pictures taken, make sure everything's set and ready to go. And I'll catch up with you guys in a minute when I'm getting ready to start my windshield. All right, so the ad for the wheels, the pictures at least, have been set up and ready to go. Um, I guess now it's be time to get the Rain-X out and hit the windshield, so I'll catch you up with you guys in a minute. All right, so the windshield came out okay. You know, there's still a lot of chips and stuff still in there. Uh, this definitely does a good job cleaning, though. There's a lot of fuzz from the microfiber towel because my microfiber towel is stuck. But not fuzzing up everything. So now I'm going to move and do the side glass and stuff. Um, and basically just make this entire truck about as rainproof as you possibly can get. Uh, again, I only have one seat cover. My dad still hasn't gotten the other one in because I'm not doing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to work on getting the other windows done and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the video. Alright guys, so that'll do for this episode of Project Explorer, episode 27. 
Thank you guys again for tuning in. Um, I know this was a bit early compared to my usual uh, Project Explorer upload schedule, which is usually Thursday. So I swapped it out with a gaming video this week, so a gaming video will be up on Thursday instead of Project Explorer. But anyway guys, thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Alice, 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 Alice